a really surreal day, um, and you know, just I'm very excited, um, very proud of our team. Um, but I would be remiss to not mention Hope. Um, they're a fantastic team, and they have been solid all year. I mean, they kicked our butt in, in October when we played them, and um, you know, they certainly came out strong in that first set. They're very well coached, and um, you know, they're they're very much like us in that they have a lot of seniors. And a lot of a lot of players just fighting for you know fight for another day with each other. So, um, shout out to them on just an incredible incredible season, um, and certainly a, a well fought match today as well. It's just emotions after you guys won the game. I mean, I saw Kenzie crying. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not trying to play out. Um, but emotions after that that seemed wonderful for you guys. Yeah, it was just so overwhelming and amazing. There were tears before the game and after. It was our, uh, you know, most of our last games in the McPhee gym, and we wanted to leave it all out there. It, we, I said to the team before the match, I want another week with you guys. Like, let's go out and take it. And I'm just really proud of the way that we performed. Um, I felt so confident in our team's preparation for the match and our play, and very happy with the outcome. <laughs> Yeah, I think some of the, some of us on the end line um, at the end of the game just stood there and was like, I, I can't even describe the emotion. I feel like I have no emotion because we were just so dialed, especially in that fourth set. And it's just an unbelievable feeling. And we're ready for the next steps. Yeah, we said we were just saying there was no doubt in our mind at all today. I think we all knew that we had prepared well and knew that we could do it and 100% believed in each other. and. That kind of propelled us to the end. It seems like it really changed just in that second set. In that when you guys were able to erase that five point deficit, like what kind of changed from there? It just seemed like a whole different feeling after that point. Yeah, you know, I think um, we've been battle tested this year a lot, um, and I think that we just, um, you know, we knew that we the first set was just not characteristic of us at all. I felt like we played really, we were back on our heels. We talked in uh, in between sets and, and in timeouts about attacking them, like not waiting to be attacked, but attacking them and, you know, just matching them punch for punch. And I think that that's something that they took really, they took to heart and, you know, even defensively having that offensive mentality of, you know, getting after it and going to get, you know, I think they definitely turned that corner as far as just getting off their heels and, and being, you know, shoulders forward, head up, let's go. And that maybe that eight point run by them was like the last big chance yeah. and, and you guys were able to weather that. Yeah. You kind of said a lot that didn't get too overwhelmed by that. Yeah, and you know, we, we have talked about this, they're a great team and so they're gonna put that pressure on and we saw them do that, you know, we saw them do that twice now in, the, in this tournament. Um, and you know, just to know that hey, we, we got this. We let's go earn our points. And and um, again, I'm proud of the senior leadership that we have. These three and and the, our other five seniors. It's just it's incredible to be able to just let them kind of take over. And I've said that to them multiple times. Like, hey, take it. This is you. So I'm really proud of them. I know you said last night that there were some real tired legs the last mm -hmm. time you guys played Hope. Did did you guys feel it was just different? <laughs> playing them when you're actually like well rested mm -hmm. night and day <laughs> yeah what kind of change you're just is it just more you're doing what you guys usually do or is it anything kind of about them that that felt different this go around yeah i mean uh, the first time we played them we came off a five set match a hard fought five set match against chicago um in this match you know we came out in that first set and you know our passing was a little bit off and we knew what we needed to do in the next couple sets uh, there, get our passes back on the net, um, run our middle, run our outsides, push it to the pins, um, and get touches off you know, the block. And so that's exactly what we did. And I think um, you know, we've had two other games this week, um, but we just fought through the fatigue, um, and we just were ready from before the game even started, ready to go. Can you tell me how the emotions changed during that second set? Like we mentioned, the five-set rally or five-point deficit in the rally, and did I don't know, were you any more relaxed after <laughs> you know pulling away to win that second set? I wouldn't say relaxed. Um, like we said, Hope is a great team. We knew that um, they weren't going to give up, and we had to keep putting the pressure on the whole time. Um, and we always say defend our home court with all we got. Getting to play at McPhee was the greatest opportunity I've ever had in my five, four, four and a half years being a Blue Gold. It was the most fun experience. Um, and having that crowd is just so, it's such a confidence booster. It's such, an, such a great energy in the gym. And um, it 
gave us that extra push throughout the whole weekend and especially in those sets, the last couple sets against Hope tonight. Yeah. Well, that's an aspect of just the, the atmosphere. <laughs> just, in retrospect, how beneficial was it to be playing this at home? Thank you very much. Yeah. I couldn't have asked for anything better than to end my last game at McBee like that. That the energy it just drives you to do better and better and keep pushing and keep pushing. Yeah, and just thinking about, you know, you, we play on this court every day, right? So sometimes you go to other courts and other gyms and they're a lot bigger and you kinda have to adjust to um, you know, the end line and you got a lot of space behind you and so we play on this court every day and that gave us a lot of confidence to go in there, serve our serves. Um, and hit the ball in. So that's what we did. Is there any kind of reminiscing about just these past this past season or these past two years? Kind of just the path that's taken you guys to this point? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> honestly, as much as going through a global pandemic together was difficult and hard, I would give credit to that being a reason why we are the team that we are. We have been resilient. We talked about resiliency before the match tonight. That was our word of the day. And we've been resilient for two years together as a team. And we finally got the chance to play volleyball again this year. And I am just so, I, we were just so grateful to be able to have this opportunity, to be able to come back. Um, I do not regret my decision at all. I'm just so proud of our team. And I think, um, yeah, if I had to describe us, I would say resilient. What do you know about your next venue in St. Louis? Um, have you, I mean, do you know anything about where you're playing and kind of what? I mean, obviously, yes, yeah, six years ago. <laughs> but, um, what changes, I guess? How do you now mentally shift to playing in that venue? Um, well, we played our first weekend, our tournament in uh, St. Louis, and that wasn't an accident. Um, when we, you know, we actually. Um, you, we usually fly somewhere the first weekend of, of the season, but due to COVID, we, um, we were restricted to driving, and we said, all right, well, where can we go that opening weekend? And we said, well, the national championship's in St. Louis, so let's go get familiar with the, the court and the area. And um, I, told them, I told them that the first weekend when we went, like our goal was to get back there. And so just the advantage of being able to go in a facility and know where the bathrooms are, know where the locker rooms are, know, you know, it, it's what the colors are, it's red and green. It's really strange. You don't see that color combination <laughs> very often. But to be able to go in there and have that, um, and then to also know that these, that, you know, almost half our team has the Final Four experience, um, it gives us a lot of confidence and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be back in St. Louis. Yeah, for, for you guys, obviously, this is a cool opportunity, but getting to play in an atmosphere like that has got to be a different kind of cool opportunity. It's how excited are, are you all to be playing in St. Louis? I cannot wait to yeah. get back there <laughs> and to do it again. And I can't wait for the girls who weren't there to get to experience it and to taste it because that's what drove us to be back here mm -hmm. this year. Mm -hmm. And I just cannot wait. Sounds like it wouldn't have felt like a complete final exactly. year without right. this. Right, right, <laughs> right. This was the goal. Yeah, next game. Um, we're not satisfied quite yet. Nope. Um, so next game, next day, next point, taking it step by step.